Hello guys, it's Katie and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing my yarn collection and organizing it. So you guys will see I have a very large bin and it is overflowing with yarn. I also have a cart thing in my room with yarn on it, which that is basically the yarn that I'm using at the moment. Which this room that I'm in is our game room, craft room, computer room office like all of the above so in the closet in this room i also have quite a bit of yarn i have quite a bit of loop yarn in this closet in here as well which i brought one out just to show you guys but this is basically what i have in there and all of it that's in there came from joann's and i think i have black blue this color and like gray possibly I wanted to start out by showing you guys this, which it's still in the box. I keep it in the box whenever I'm done with it. But I got this at Hobby Lobby, and you'll probably see me using this quite a bit throughout the video. It's just to put the yarn that isn't in a ball back into a ball, basically. And I'm going to take all of the yarn out of the bin and tell you everything of yarn, the brand, the color, all of that, and... If I can remember where it's from, I'm going to tell you where it's from as well. So now that I've talked about all that, let's get started with my yarn collection. So we're on the opposite side of this room now. Normally you guys see the side over there. But I want, like the lid doesn't even fit on here right now because it's so disorganized. But I want to show you guys this bin. And this used to be nice and organized, now it's not anymore. So, as you guys can see, this bin is huge, and there's stuff that isn't even yarn in here. So I'm going to explain everything in this bin to you guys. Where it came from, what it is, what size it is, maybe even if I've used it before. As I'm taking it out, I'll tell you, all, I'll tell you guys all that stuff. And then we'll put it all back in here in a nice, neat fashion. A lot of this yarn is from Walmart and it's Red Heart yarn. So this is Red Heart Super Saver 7 ounce ball in the color Orchid. I pretty much just have one size like this for every color. I might have variations of colors if I've used it for something specific. Next is the same thing, Red Heart Super Saver 7 ounce ball in the color saffron red heart super saver again seven ounce ball in baby pink again red heart super saver seven ounce ball in carrot some of this yarn is like coming undone too so it's not that great but oh well. again red heart super saver seven ounce ball in light blue this yarn my parents had and they were just like do you want it and i said sure <laughs> Um, so honestly I have no idea where it's from, what type it is. If I had to guess I'd say it's a 7 ounce ball. It might be a Red Heart Super Saver like this just because the balls look kind of similar. So if I, ha if I had to guess that's what I'd say it is but honestly I have no idea. I think they got this to like decorate for Christmas. Again, this is a Red Heart Super Saver 7 ounce ball. This one's actually more compact but it's in clarinet. And I did use this color yarn to make a tank top one time. So next I have, again, Red Heart Super Saver 7 ounce ball in Grenadine. Uh, at this point I'm just going to stop saying it's Red Heart Super Saver 7 ounce because that's most of these on the top are. Um, this one is in the color Spring Green. I think that might conclude the balls of yarn that I have in that size. So I'm going to move on to the next size, which is even bigger. So this one is the same thing, but 14 ounces in the color Amethyst. Next we have this in Cafe Latte, which is also a Jumbo Super Saver 14 ounces. I believe this is my last Jumbo Super Saver size, and this is, again, 14 ounces in the color Black. And I do have a couple more balls of yarn over there, which I'm not going to get, actually, because I'm in the process of using them. But I have two in this size. One is 
cherry red and the other one is white. And then I have one in the super saver size. I think it's the navy blue color. I'm not sure what exactly the name of it is, but we'll just call it navy blue for now. But they're over there, so I'm not going to get that right now. This one I just got yesterday. This is the Carson one pound, so it's 16 ounces in the color mid-mix gray. And I got this because I'm planning on making some stuff with it, which I don't know if you've seen yet, but I'm not gonna tell you just in case you haven't. And this actually came from Michaels. All the other yarn that I've showed you so far has come from Walmart. Now recently I got two of these gray ones and two blue ones, but I actually used up one blue one. And this is sugar and cream in dazzle blue and these two are also sugar and cream overcast and they're both 2.5 ounce they're all 2.5 ounce balls of yarn and I use this to make a dishcloth which I know you guys have seen and the pattern is up on my Etsy shop if you guys want to see it it's the textured dishcloth pattern and I'll also link it down below for you guys but I used almost a whole one of this for that pattern and by the way these I got from Michaels these yarns came from Walmart I believe they're peaches and cream all three of these and they're all 2.5 ounces this one used to be but obviously I used it quite a bit and this color is rosemary this color is forest green and this color is just called red but I think that these are super pretty as well and again these all came from Walmart now we're back to stuff from Michaels these are scrubby yarns from Michaels um, by Red Harp and this one is called Americana by the way, these are 3.5 ounces. This one is called Ducky, and this one is called French Country. I just found another one of these scrubby yarns, and I believe this one's from Walmart because this one is 3 ounces, the other ones are 3.5. But this is in the color Marble. Now, these actually came from the Dollar Tree, which you're not going to believe, but they did. And, of course, a dollar a piece, which is honestly the best deal I've ever found on yarn because... These are all called Tulip Pink, just so you know, but they are by Red Heart, 3.5 ounces, so the same size as the one you get from Michaels, which is the like this, same size, just not as tightly wound, and this is for a dollar. At Michaels and Walmart, they're both like five. You kind of have to go on a wild goose chase to find these, but if you ever do, make sure you snatch them up because honestly it's a great deal they normally only have them in one color per store so this one i actually got from a friend which she found at a different store which this is the color just called orange and it is again red heart scrubby but the package looks a little different but still all of these four dollars for all of these the one store she found that at had only this color, and the store I found these at had only this color. But pretty much the only dollar stores you're going to find this at is the bigger ones, normally Dollar Tree. But I can't guarantee anything for your area, but at least where I live, I've been able to find some. And it's really exciting when you do find them, because it's a great deal. So the next step I have in here is not yarn, but I have some dishcloths because I'm planning on making like a handle thing on this. I cannot remember what it's called right now for the life of me. But these are kitchen towels. This one came from the Dollar General, one dollar. These all mine came from the Dollar General. So I am going to assume that they're one dollar. But this one says live simply. This one says bless this kitchen. And this one is just lemons and it doesn't have a tag on it, but I'm pretty sure I got all these from Dollar General. So these three things of yarn, this one is Pacific Bulky by Cassidy Yarns, which I got this from 
a yarn store near me and like a privately owned one and I think it was kind of expensive I got it on sale though it doesn't have a color name but the color number says it's 69 so if that helps and then I have these two as well which these are actually yarns made in Japan and these are actually the same color they just are weaved differently but um this says the color is 354 for both of these and they're by Noro N-O-R-O -O, made in Japan Noro the world of nature is what it's called and these say ten dollars but I think they were on sale that's probably why I got them um honestly have no clue what I'm gonna use them for but I'll eventually figure out something so this ball did not look like this it was actually one of the like spiral ones I made it to into my own ball with this I know I got this at a yarn shop near me it wasn't the same one as the two that I just showed you though but another privately owned one but honestly for the life of me I cannot remember the brand this is or anything next in here I have these pom-poms which are for the top of hats and there's many different colors like this one might look black on camera but it's actually like a navy blue in person and on each one there's a little thing like this to attach it to and it makes a nice little pom-pom I got these on Amazon I know that I also have a random bunch of the amethyst yarn I think this was left over from a project so I'm gonna put this over here and we'll use my thing in a minute for it the rest of these yarns I'm pretty sure are from Hobby Lobby if not I'll tell you as we go this is yarn bee sugar swirl blueberry cream and it's a multicolored yarn another multicolored yarn is this one which is also a yarn bee sugar swirl and it's called strawberry milkshake and that's what it looks like I had this one which is some yarn bee luxe lollies and the color is count on coconuts I've already used like two of these actually I had three but I think it's perfect for a baby blanket and stuff and I love the way it's spun too in a circle it's like flat so I have a few balls like this that I actually took from stuff like this and I went through and wound them with this that way I have different colors instead of having the yarns like this so I can use them in different projects I saw someone do this on YouTube a long time ago I don't remember who so I apologize for that so there's quite a few in here And I know it came from one of these sugar swirl ones. I don't know what the color was, though. This, I believe, was actually a cotton yarn, probably by Peaches and Cream. Couldn't tell you the color. I wouldn't know. But the final yarns that I have are... I love this yarn, is the brand. And one in white, one in black, and one in mint. And these are 100% cotton yarns, so... I'll probably use them for dishcloths or something like that soon. But I actually do have some other stuff at the bottom here. So, I have this, which doesn't even zip all the way, but it's... When my grandma first started trying to teach me to crochet when I was, like, seven, she gave me this, and there's, like, really old plastic crochet hooks in here and, like, a pair of scissors. For some reason, it's in here. I don't know why. But I didn't actually pick up on crocheting until I was, like, 16 at my friend tried to teach me and then I got the hang of it but my grandma was very much like stuck by the book type of way of teaching me and when I was young I just didn't have the attention span for it but anyway I think this is super cute that I still have this there's actually like stuff with her handwriting on it too so that's cute there's also like two little pieces of yarn that I don't think I need anymore and I have one coaster that I made I was trying to make a um a cactus coasters that I've seen online before but I obviously did not complete it I only made one <laughs> this bin is empty now I wanted to show you guys the aftermath of what this looked like there's a bunch of yarn over here so now as far as organizing this stuff goes first this stuff that's not yarn I'm going to keep out of this so like this stuff that I just showed you guys 
and this are going to go over here and I'm going to find a different place for those. The only thing that's going to be in here is yarn and my small yarns like this are not going to be at the bottom like they were before. So I'm going to start out with my big jumbo yarns like this and just start putting them in here. Even if they're yarns that I think I'm going to use soon, I would just rather put them at the bottom. That way there's plenty of room for the other stuff. So now I'm going to take all my super savers and just start packing them in. And some of them that have loose ends like this, I'm just going to use the package and push it in like that. That way it won't get tangled up with other stuff while it's in here. So in this little corner back here, because there's room, I'm going to fit this in, and then I'm going to pile some more super savers on top. So now I have these sugar swirls that I'm going to put over here. Next, I'm going to put these 100% cotton yarns starting over here. Now that's all the 100% cotton yarn, so now I'm going to put this somewhere because this is a flat one, so it could probably fit in there like that. And then I'm going to take my scrubby yarns and just start lining them in here however they'll fit best. And then next I have these, which can just fit here nicely. And I also have this, which I have a little tiny space for right here. And I still have the yarns like this, but honestly I feel like this gets too unraveled in there. So what I might do is take these and put them in a Ziploc bag. This, I have two things now that I need to make into balls. So I'm going to do that. And the small amounts of yarn that I have here will be perfect for granny squares or something like that later on. So I will keep these in a Ziploc bag. And I might place them on top or I might keep them in my room, which I am about to go show you. I'm about to go show you the organization of my room and probably reorganize that as well. But now the lid will actually go on top of it and it didn't used to do that, so that's great. <laughs> So now we're gonna go to my room and I will show you guys my organization in there and fix that as well because that's not very good right now. So I've had a pretty hard time figuring out a good angle to put this at. Normally this is back in this corner here but I have it pulled out. 
that way I can show you guys what it looks like. So we'll start with the bottom shelf and again I'm going to take everything out that I have here. So this is actually a yarn bag which is super handy. You can put the yarn in here and then it comes out of the holes and you can close it up and there's things for your hooks and a pocket for other storage. I think it's really a good idea to have if you're on the go. Next is my yarn bag for scrap pieces of yarn because you can use this to stuff stuffed animals or a pillow or whatever you want. So I have this from a bunch of projects I've done from weaving in the ends and different things. Next I have a lot of different patterns that I picked up from Michaels a few months ago actually. I actually grabbed some that say knitting too even though I don't knit and I didn't realize it said knitting so oops but I got a bunch of those. Next I have this bag of um, pliers in this bag and rings and different things to make keychains. I also have yellow yarn here. This used to be a super saver and now it's very much so not because I've used it a lot. I also have a brown thing of yarn which is also a super saver. This is cafe latte and then this yellow is in lemon by the way. I had these because I used them for sunflowers. Next I have a crochet pattern here which is actually what I'm using for this right here which I'll get to in a minute. Next I have this crochet kit which has a lot of crochet hooks still in it and the smaller hooks which I don't use these too often anymore because I have a set with grips on the end. Next I have this which also came from a local yarn shop and it's one of the yarns that has a top on it so you can make a little kid's hat and stuff out of it like they show in the picture. I also have a lot of these from used yarns and I don't know why I insist on keeping them but I have a lot so I mean I guess I know that I like these yarns. I also have a fast and fun crochet book that my grandma gave me and I have another book this is called ABC's Crochet and yeah, it teaches you about common stitches and stuff. There's also another yarn thing here. A random stitch marker that's definitely not supposed to be down here. And finally, I have this set of eyeballs, which there's blue eyes, black eyes, red eyes, green eyes for stuffed animals. This came from Amazon. On this shelf, I have this organizer. It has stitch markers, so I actually should put this stitch marker in here. But this, this is stitch markers in this one. And then these three are some um, materials that came with the eyes, but were actually separate. And then this is yarn needles. I have some more of these again. Next I have a project that I was starting. I think I was going to make a throw pillow. Next I have a gray yarn. I know I know this is a um this is on a loom and this yarn is a gray. I'm not sure what color gray, but it's the darker color gray and it's I know it's a super saver by Red Heart and then this is a hook that came with this loom. I was in the process of making a hat. This is a scrubby that I started at one point and obviously did not finish. This is a teddy bear that I was doing and it's just the head of the teddy bear so far and I kind of stopped because I thought it was going to be like a small teddy bear from the picture and it started coming out huge and I thought I was doing it wrong. So now that's everything in this row. Also, I should let you guys know that this cart is from Walmart, and it was very easy to put together. It moves around really well, so, you know, it wasn't too expensive either. Next, I have this yarn by Carson, and it's Simply Soft 5 ounces, and it's called 
Saturday blue jean ombre. I used this to make my mom a blanket and it came out super well. I really like this yarn. This is some yarn that I have left over from this blanket actually. From this blanket. So this I probably need to just spin in a ball and put with the stuff that I showed earlier. This is the same. This is left over from something. It's also in a giant knot. I have another one of these, which is in the color clarinet again. This is my yarn bag, and I really just keep black. And I used to have white in here, but I actually took out the white for the project that's in the craft room in there. But I usually I usually keep black, white, and gray in here. But there's only black at the moment. And it has holes at the top, so it comes through the holes. It has a handle here, a handle here. My mom get the, got this on Amazon, and it's by Be Crafty. Crafty with two E's. I think it's super cute. And in here, I just have all of my hooks. A lot of different hooks. Actually, not all of them, but I have a lot of them in here. I also have a gauge in here. And this is actually um, a thing that you can put on a piece of yarn to make a necklace and it cuts the yarn for you, very convenient. And on the outside here I have this with one plastic yarn needle and one metal yarn needle if I need it on the go. Which this container actually came with the yarn noodles that I bought on Amazon, and I'd only have two in here, but still. And normally, normally I have my most used crochet hooks here, but they're actually being used right now, so they're not here right now. But then I have the smaller ones and bigger ones that I don't use as often in here. Another thing of yarn, just in like a cream color. And I also have one of the stitch markers here for, um, it's a little cat one that my mom bought me. I have one little scrubby here that I made with some of that pink scrubby yarn that you saw earlier. Then I have two big crochet hooks that are plastic ones. This one is a 15.75 and this one is 11.5. There's also a tiny bit of scrubby yarn left from making some scrubbies, obviously. And the final thing I have are a lot of Tunisian crochet hooks. I bought these in a set on Amazon. Now that we have all of this out of here, I'm going to organize it into here. So I'm going to start by putting this on top again. I'm also going to put the Tunisian crochet hooks here, like where they were. I'm going to put these yarn these things of yarn back in my yarn bin because obviously I haven't been using them they've just been sitting down here. I'm also gonna put this in my yarn bin because this has not been started on yet. And this will go in my yarn bin because I'm completed with the project that I use this for. Next I'm gonna put projects that I'm in the process of working on down here. And a quick little note for you guys, I know I don't have the crochet hooks with most of these, it's because I have to use them for other things, so I do on my phone write down in my notes this project left off on what row and what hook I was using and all that, that way I know when I come back to it. And that's a good tip for you guys too. I'm also going to put this little guy in my yarn bin because I haven't used him yet, so there's no point in him really being here. With these, I'm actually going to put... You can't see, but I have a table right here. I'm going to put them down here on this table. That way I can actually access them better than them just sitting down here at the bottom. So next, I'm going to take this project and put it down here. And I'm going to grab the hook that I was using for that too. Because I don't do Tunisian crochet as much, so I can keep the hooks with it. 
And then also I have this loom here that I'm gonna set down here. I'm gonna also just set it down here because it's a project that I'm working on. So that will be there. And then I have this yarn bag, which I'm not using currently, so I'm gonna set it down here at the bottom. And then I have these eyeballs in this container thing. I'm gonna set here, that way I know where they are. Finally, I have this, which I'm going to close, because apparently I didn't close it before. And I'm going to set it back here as well, that way I can access it easier. This scrubby, I'm honestly just going to undo, because I don't even remember what pattern I was, pattern I was doing, and I know I didn't write this one down. So it's just going to be easier to take it out. And then once I've taken it out, I'm going to put the yarn back in the ball and then put it in my yarn thing. I'm going to make these into a ball. This one kind of is already, so I guess I'm going to do this one. And that way I can keep a hold of these and use them for a granny square or something eventually. So next I have this, which is my chain making thing. So I'm going to set it in here, as well as my yarn bag, I'm going to set in here. I have some more hooks that I'm just going to set back here again. And then this can go in my yarn bin as well. So this scrubby that I made, I'm going to put on this table to put in the kitchen where it should be. And then... The last thing is all of these. This one I actually do need to keep though for the pattern on it. And I might keep one of each if there is a pattern on it, but I don't need like 10 of the same from the same yarn, so. And then the rest of these will go in the garbage. And I'll actually keep these probably underneath all this stuff. So I can't find it if I'm going to use it. So, now this is all reorganized. I will put it back here. And it's much nicer to look at now. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. That way I know. If you'd like to see more from me, you can subscribe to this YouTube channel and turn on post notifications. That way you'll know every time I upload a new video. If you'd like to see regular updates from me, you can follow my social media accounts, which are all linked in the description box below. And with all that, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye! By the way, I'm filming this on June 2nd, so I haven't changed this yet, but I'm not that far off. When this is going up, it's way later in the month, but I'm not that far off, okay?